here's the first uh, C series that will enter commercial service. First flight scheduled for Swiss Air July 15 from Zurich to Paris. About to be delivered to uh, Swiss Air soon in the next two weeks and a half, should I say. Today is the fuel test. Outside it's uh, the assembly line at Mirabel Airport, Bombardier CRJ and Cicero's uh, assembly lines. The noise you hear is because just next to it is a racing track. I can turn the camera, you'll see the uh, iCar racing track. And there's, uh, on that racing track there's also a drag track. And this is drag dragster's day, I can turn the camera. And yes, that's an Antonov down there. Control tower is over there. It's Mirabel Airport control tower. And that's the old, uh, the old terminal for uh, public transportation, which is uh, no longer the case at Mirabel unless you're private flight or some very specific flights. Mirabel Airport now is a commercial and industrial airport. So everything related to uh, the aviation industries, commercial side, cargo, uh, L3s over here maintaining the Canadian CF-18 as well as the American Navy F-18. Nolino Ore, Trent and Whitney with the two power, pure power engines are here at Mirabel Airport and many others and Bombardier as well for sure with the CRJ and the C-Series this is the C-Series uh, CS100 serial number 50010 uh, currently registered for transport manager at Charlie Fox from Papa Alpha India uh, but uh, it's already registered I don't have it by heart I tweeted just check my Twitter is already the uh, Swiss registration for it already. It's painted on it. Um, yeah, I guess it's hidden, but it's painted on the front wheel cover uh, already. So this is this is the first C series that will enter commercial flight. That will carry paying passengers, passengers for uh, Swiss Airs, Swiss Airways, and. Uh, that will be from Zurich to Paris, July 15, the last day of uh, the uh, Farnborough Air Show, by the way. So, Farnborough, Farnborough Air Show in July, we shall see Cicero CS300. I'm not mistaken. Um, there's also one that will look, that does look exactly like this, it's the one you saw in Paris. It's FTV5, the first one that was painted as uh, Swiss Air. So that's not the one. This this one belongs to Swiss Air soon. The one you see right now is the one that was del delivered to Swiss Air. The one you saw in Paris painted as Swiss Air was not. It was um, flight test vehicle number five with a full interior. And uh, that one will be leaving for Europe. Not this not this one you see, but the FTV5 will be leaving for Europe on June 1st for presentation, demo flights. So there's customers over there, I want to see the plane, uh, obviously, and uh, it will be leaving on June 1st, so follow it, probably gonna be on flight radar 24. As uh, this one, again, it will be leaving mid-June uh, to uh, for Swiss Air. And Swiss has uh, events, media events scheduled for July 6th in Zurich with this aircraft, the one you see right now. Anyone tell me if you can hear me well, if you can hear me well, or if you don't.
This is the drag race. There's a racetrack next to us. And you can hear the engines. Those are from the dragsters on the racetrack. Obviously, this does not sound like a Toretta Twin a pure engine or jet aircraft anyway. So, uh, there's a piston engine over there on the racetrack. And this is uh, F, uh, this is uh, aircraft C series CS100 serial number 105010. The 10 CS100 built, and this is the first one that will be delivered, and the first one that will be used for commercial flight by Swiss Air. Just got painted last week or so. And uh, will be delivered uh, in uh, mid June. Today is uh, fuel testing. We're doing fuel test right now. And uh, engine cranking is coming. Probably not today, I'm sure. And uh, but still delivery is for mid June. And not far behind it, soon you'll see serial number five zero zero one one. So number eleven of the CS one hundred. But three to four weeks after, will be delivered as well to Swiss Air. Oh, thank you very much for the audio. Hi, Paolo, from Italy. Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, yes, this is the, as you can see, the registration for Transport Canada in the meantime, until it's delivered, it's Charlie Foxtrot Papal for India. And uh, was registered as of Friday, so yesterday. Uh, it's not yet in the Transport Canada database. And uh, it already has his uh, Swiss Air registration. I wish I tweeted the. Uh, I, con I confirmed uh, this morning. If you check my Twitter account, I don't have it by heart. Uh, Alpha Bravo something, which is Swiss, obviously. Uh, this is the Dragster. You can hear the sound. This is not a pure engine cranking. <laughs> Yes, right there. Hotel Bravo, Julian Bravo Alpha. Thank you very much. That is the Swiss Air registration for this aircraft. So again, oh, it's a nice bike. This one by me. Um, again, this is the first uh, Swiss CS100 being the first C-Series ever that will be entering uh, service. And it's a CS100. Uh, CS300 is a bit uh, longer than that. Uh, Swiss all, all, also taking the break on the road. This is the CS100, and uh, got painted last week. And we'll be flying July 15. I heard that they, all the seats are taken out. If you want to try it, you can book a flight from Zurich to Paris. I don't know what the spin flight in today is, but from Paris to Zurich. So July 15 is the first flight with paying passengers and leaving Mirabel on around mid-June to join uh, Swiss Airways. That will be a uh, landmark. First time a C-Series will enter production with all these years of effort, work, development, testing, especially testing. It's very expensive to test a uh, design from scratch aircraft. Part 5 of CS100, 2 CS300, and almost 3 years of flight. Very expensive, but it's worth it. Then after that, for so many years down the road, if you introduce a new model, like a CS300, you just only require 2 test vehicles. Get to a CS500 and 700 down the road. The base model is a CS300. And it's only two aircraft that will need to be built and inexpensive compared to uh, the current testing. Well, not expensive to certify. Most of the aircraft is the same. Uh, so this, this is a landmark for Bougainville, for the aviation in general. Is anybody's going to be happy? The employees, the shareholders, the customers, the suppliers, obviously. Proud people working on, on that. Uh, people around the world for supplying parts, landing gears from Italy, wings made in, the, uh, in Ireland, the engines uh, they made here in Mirabel by uh, Pratt, I think so, I'm not sure. 
probably arranged in the assembly line in the States, I'm not sure. And, uh, and so on. And the annex from the States. So, uh, I mean, it's an international aircraft. You should put all the flags of all the countries on it. Show that all trade uh, works. But it's not. Uh, it's not solely uh, designed and made in, uh, in Canada. Obviously, that's what is the multinationals all about these days. So I said there's only three guys following. I don't know if people are aware on that on the uh, the on Twitter or what. So um, anybody has questions while I'm there, you have me live. A quick tour, 360 degrees. Yes, it will, and I shall be in Zurich on July 6th for the uh, Media Day with Zurich with the plane. I know the plane will be flying with, uh, with for people being, that will be there, but there might not be enough space for them all. So I'm not sure I'll be able to fly on it on July 6th. Uh, but July 15th, I guess, will be uh, happening there, the first flight. I'm sure that the champagne will be uh, flowing before. Uh, and during that short flight, uh, the second plane, like I said, will should be entering should be entering service within a month, about a month after that. So it's already cranking up. The first few delivery will be Swiss. Then will come the first CS300 delivery, which is Air Baltic. And who is the following customers after Swiss and Air Baltic? Anybody can guess it? Should I say? CS300 customer, but the third customer that will take delivery of this series is going to be taking delivery of a CS300. Uh, anybody uh, need a clue or uh, guessing more? Okay, let me help you. Um, the customer to get to the customer, it will be faster going west from here. Any more? Anyone? Yes, sir. That guy has it right. All is good. So, Korean Airlines, yes, one of the major airlines in the world. People always forget about it. So, Korean Airlines. Korean Airlines will be the third customer taking delivery of C-Series. Again, I can be mistaken, you know. But, I'll bet. So, Korean Airlines, third customers, and that will be a CS300. So, for people joining in, uh, this is, uh, I'm currently located in near Montreal at the Mirabel Airport, Yankee Mike X-Ray, YMX, which uh, is an industrial, Commercial airport, no longer for passengers. Some private flights, I guess. Aircraft used to be here. And um, what you're looking at right now is the first C series that will enter. This is the first C series that will enter a commercial service. The first one that will be delivered to a customer, which is Swiss, obviously, I guess you can see by the paint, Swiss Airways. This is C series CS100. Serial number 50010, so CC is the CS100 number 10. This is the first one entering to enter service. The first one that will be delivered on mid June for an entry into service on July 15. So the first day it will 
carry passengers, paying passengers, will be July 15 from Zurich to Paris. Today is one of its uh, rare day outside. It's uh, get painted last week. Right now they doing fuel testing. So it's fuel test today. Uh, engine cranking. Yes, Paulo is right too. So I uh, didn't want to say, but I guess now we people know about it. So the first six, uh, first six CS100, the first six, uh, uh, is it six deliveries before the CS300? I think so, yes. So the first six deliveries are CS100 and they all go into Swiss. Roughly within three weeks to a month uh, interval and getting the interval will get shorter and shorter with time. So that one's going there. Then this is the first CS300 this fall is going to go to um, Air Baltic. And then the third customer after Swiss and Air Baltic would be current airline with uh, CS300 as well. Now, talking about delivery, you know, the first, there's many tests, there's more tests happening on this aircraft because it's the first one, but the first 20, the first 20 maybe, we'll get more tests, more tests to the first 20 of the production line, I mean, before delivery, they'll be getting more testing than, than usual. Obviously, fine tuning the production line. They don't build it as fast, make sure it's fine. They take notes, make sure that they repeat the same thing. If something is wrong, they can go back and fix the way it's built just to get it faster or, proper, or a bit betterly uh, done. And then they can crank up the speed. As well, the testing. After the first 20 and so are tested well, well, they're, they're tested that will not happen at each of them, each of them, them. So uh, some tests will happen at each uh, 10 aircraft, each 20 aircraft. And this is also one of the reasons why production goes faster and cheaper uh, on top of uh, obviously the fixed cost. If you divide it by the number of aircraft built by per month, the fixed cost then goes uh, lower. Now flight, I'm, I'm, advised, I'm being advised right now that FTV5 is in flight or almost or just took off. And uh, if it's not today, it should be tomorrow, but it's going to fly to Mirabel. So FTB5 also, which look like this one. That's the one you saw in Paris, painted as Swiss colors. Flight test vehicle number five uh, will be flying to Mirabel. Uh, no later, if it's not today, no later than the end of the month, because June 1st, it has to go to Europe for demoing to other customers. So customers want to see the craft now knowing that uh, major airlines like Delta make their evaluation and they went for it. Delta is known in the industry not to be stupid. Even if you give, the, give them the aircraft for free, they know that that's not what they want.